look at some ways we can select different parts of our pictures. If we have some paint on the page, I think I mentioned before you can use your, uh, I mean, you can use your move layer to move it, obviously, but we also have our operation tool, which has some sub tools and select layer will let us pick the layer that we want. So basically we just have this paper, which it won't select. But if we click here on the paint, it's selecting that. So if I take it off of it and click it again, it'll be on it. But it won't let me move it. It's just selecting it. And the object tool, it will actually let me move it. It will actually let me move the entire layer, much like the uh, move layer tool. But the object tool has other uses as well, because it um, can let you not just select some things, but actually manipulate them. Things that have vector points and uh, anchor points and other ways that we can control it. So let me show you an example. So if I uh, do, for example, under the text tool, the flash, let me throw down a flash and see what happens. Okay, so we have the flash. And now if I go back to my operation tool, or if I just press O, it automatically highlights it. If I hadn't pressed O, if I actually did it manually, it would still give me these options. And these are gonna give me the ability to resize and transform this. We can mirror image it. We can do all kinds of things. Really gives us a lot of control after the fact of, uh, of an object, which is great. It's really helpful when you wanna uh, reshape a text balloon or things like that. So it, it's very helpful. And all of these points in here can be moved. They're all up for manipulation, which is amazing. The amount of control you can have is, is just astonishing. So very often with some, well, not often, I guess, but it dep depends on which tool you're using. But if it's a tool that has any kind of, uh, uh, an organizational quality to it. Don't be surprised if you can just press O and open up like this thing that'll let you manipulate it, which is awesome. Let's use it. You can drag it around, rotate it, whatever. In addition, it also opens up this, uh, in our tool properties, like all these other options that let us change it after the fact. So we could change the color, for instance, and voila very easy way to make a lot of changes. We can, so a lot of the things that we kind of thought we needed to edit beforehand, we can actually change after, which is wonderful. Some of these changes use a lot of processing power, so they may take a sec and, but yeah, you can definitely tweak it quite a bit. And again, we have our sub tool details. So lots of things we can do and almost every, uh, thing that has this will give us quite a few changes that we can make.